Okay, so I am back. I just wanted to do a very quick video and let you guys know about a big change we've made to our, our budget. We have switched to using a credit card to pay all of our bills. Now, I know I'm breaking every rule in the book. Because you know I love Dave Ramsey and I love the plan. I love everything financially that they stand for. But this is what works for us. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. So basically, I use one very large credit card every month to pay all of our bills. And when I say all of our bills, that is with the exception of any debts or utilities. But any thing such like such as Netflix or cell phone bill or anything like that. Um, we're using the credit card to pay those things because we know that they're coming. Why not just use the credit card to pay them in advance? Now, that doesn't, we are not using our credit card to pay um, gas and electric, water bill, things like that. We're not doing that. Um, but we are using it to pay for our other fixed expenses. And what we found is we are able to um, get cash back for paying for things that we have to pay for anyway. Um, so basically we have an interest-free credit card that allows us um, to pay all of our bills and get 1% cash back on all of our purchases or anything that we pay. Automatically we'll get 1% back. In addition to that, they have roving specials where there will be a 5% cash back. Now for this month of August, there's a 5% cash back on restaurants. So if we go out to eat anywhere or if we shop for food anywhere in a supermarket or at a restaurant, even fast food places, even though we don't eat them, <laughs> we will get 5% back every month on our credit card to use however we like. We can get it back in the form of a gift card. We can apply it to our debt the, on the credit card bill, or we can um, use it to make a payment. Or we can just say, hey, cut me a check. So, so far so good. We love it. In addition to those two things, for the first 12 months, there's a cash back match program where they will add all of the cash back that they have given us for the last, for the 12 months that we had the credit card and they will match it 5% of it on top of the other 5% and on top of the other 1%. So it's a, a great way to accumulate some money and to use whatever way we like. So We've only been at this for about a month and a half, so, so far so good. We haven't had any issues, any interest, any random fees showing up. There's no annual uh, membership fee, none of that stuff. So um, I'll keep you guys posted how it's going, but so far so good. And what that will enable us to do is to um, find ways to spend that cash back on ways to travel because we do tend to book a lot of hotel rooms, Airbnbs, rental cars, and such. So this is our, this is going to be my new credit card. Now in previous budget videos, I've used another credit card. Well, since then I've moved, transferred that balance over to this interest-free credit card where I'm able to pay it down even quicker. So I don't have to worry about paying 18% or 20% interest on a balance that I use for traveling anyway. So right now I am paying interest-free baby. And it's just a beautiful thing. Now, like I said, you have to do what works for you. There's the Dave Ramsey way, and then there's life. There's real, there's reality. So if you are in a position to pay all of your bills interest-free without the use of a credit card, by all means, do what you do it your way. But for us, it really works for our lifestyle because we do tend to travel every month or every other month, even if it's a weekend road trip. So... That doesn't mean that we're getting rid of the sinking funds. I, we, in addition to paying those bills with the use of the credit card, we still have our electronic sinking funds and I have um, electronic savings. 
So that's why you haven't been seeing many cash envelope videos from me because we pretty much keep all of our money online electronically. And that's for safety reasons. Um, it's easier to manage and to move the money to where we need it to be. We can't touch it. <laughs> And so for now that works for us. Now I still do have cash envelopes for things like miscellaneous things. Like say if I need the grass cut and my husband can't do it and I need to pay one of the guys in the neighborhood to do it, I have the cash available to do that. Or say there's a sinking fund that is not electronic that I need to pay and have the money for at the end of the year, I still have that sinking fund. But this is just one major change, we, change we've done in the last month and a half. And I'll keep you posted and let you know how it's going. But I just wanted to share that with you briefly, that we are not quitting on the entire Dave Ramsey plan. We are just kind of just tweaking it, tweaking it a little bit just to meet our travel needs. And in the process, it's benefiting us. And this was not just a thought that we just came up with last month and said we're going to do it. This was a lot of research. A lot of research went into uh, coming up with this plan. Um, I'm sure there are other people you follow on YouTube who have budgets that involve the use of a credit card, but it's very controlled because the balance is paid in full at the end of the month, so there's no minimum payment due each month. So even though I've transferred my balance over from my previous credit card, I don't have to worry about a minimum payment because I'm automatically making those payments when I add on the money that pays for the bills. So that means that any extra money that I have outside of savings and miscellaneous will go on that credit card to decrease that debt even quicker. And that is our goal because we are, our goal is to have this next credit card paid off by the end of the year. And in order to do that, we need to do it interest free. Well, it's been great talking to you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of the month. Peace, love, and travel.